Hey there, this is Vanessa DeBerlay and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to talk about three passive income ideas that will bring a higher cash flow. There, I've talked a lot about freelancing and all the different things that you can do to make some quick pocket money and I've got a playlist at the end of this video that lists a whole bunch of those videos if that's what you're interested in. But let's say you're tired of just making some extra cash. Let's say you want to make some real cash and, and create a business, but you don't have any money. Passive income we usually think of as people investing in real estate or the stock market, things like that, or other businesses. And that's a way of using your money to make money. And not all of us have that. I have not had that <laughs> privilege. I was born in um, right where I'm at and I worked my way up from there. And um, basically, that's what you have to do. I don't know where you're at financially. I don't know where you're at mentally with working, but what I'm going to show you today are three different ways that you can earn money if you've got the 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 grit to do it. You have to you're not there ain't no free lunch out there, okay? You're either going to make money with money, which is a little bit easier, but you still have to know what you're doing, or you're going to make money by using your time. The thing about creating one of these three at revenues of income is you're going to use your time, your blood, your sweat, and your tears in the beginning to set up certain systems. We call them evergreen systems where they keep working for you after you've done the work. That's where the passive income comes in. I'm going to use YouTube as an example. That is not one of the three I've listed here today, but it is a way of making money. It isn't, um, it's not going to happen as quickly as some of these other three because you have to put the time in a lot of time, but with YouTube, once you build content and you build a channel and you start making, get it monetized and start making money off of the ads that are placed on your videos, those can run for years and years and years and years as long as people are searching for them and still looking for the content that you have and you can keep making money. That's what passive income is. It's after you've put the... I like to say the foundational work in, it's kind of like building a house. You can't build the house and reap the benefits of living in it unless you've got a really strong foundation. And that's kind of how any of these businesses are. You got to do the hard work first, then reap the rewards. And that's, that's the way it works. Okay. So I'm going to give you three today. Okay. Three that you can do if you don't have resources like money, okay? You can sell your creativity, your, your the work, the creativity that you have. And two of the main ways that are very popular are photographer or videographer. A photographer, if you love to take pictures, you've got your iPhone, you don't have to go out and get a fancy camera anymore, right? Go out, take pictures. I know people that just have an eye for taking great pictures. I have been in this at the same wedding or at the same family reunion. I'm taking pictures and then somebody else in the family will say, well, look what I got. I'm like, man, how did you get those pictures? But they're, they just have a knack for knowing when to hit that button. And that's what a good photographer does. Um, and they can work with shadows and all those things. I'm not good at that. Um, so if you're good at something like that, or if you're good at videos, maybe you you know how to edit them and, and make them pop and, and, and make them interesting and, and put all kinds of cool things in there, you could become a video editor for somebody or you could become, you could create what we call B-rolls. Let's talk about the photographer first, okay? You're like, okay, I take great pictures, so how how do I sell my pictures? I have a list of sites you can go to down in the description, but here are a few of them. You would go to different sites. There's tons of them. There's thousands of them. <laughs> um, this one here is called Dreams Time. And what people do is they place their videos on here or their pictures, their, photo their photos, and they um, give them certain names, like they, they categorize them. And then when people need them, they'll come to the site and say, hey, I want to buy that picture you know i don't know if you've ever needed a photo before but if you are into putting things uh, on social media sometimes you just want that picture well you can't just go grab one for f anywhere and copy it and use it that's called um stealing actually um what you need to do is go to one of these sites and sometimes they'll have royalty free stock um, some photographers will say, here's some uh, free pictures that I'll offer. And what they want is you to take the free picture, then look at some of the other things they have in their folder, and then they have things for sale. And a lot of these places will have sales. They'll say, hey, you can pay 50 bucks and get 10 photos of your choice off of our site. And then that money goes, uh, part of that money goes to the photographer. So yes, it takes time for people to find you. But um, here's one, it's Shutterstock is popular. Um, this is iStock Photos, just to give you some ideas. And 
basically um, other people that use the photos would be people building websites, um, people making videos. Sometimes I might have a video where I'm making a PowerPoint instead of just coming on live, I try to change it up. And sometimes those photos, I just get them off of these places. And on my website, I have used photo stock that I bought and I use it on my website. And then it allows me to be able to edit it and use it all over the place. That's why I would buy instead of getting it for free some, sometimes. So that's one way. Now, just because you put it on there, it doesn't mean you're gonna make a ton of money. Then you have to start promoting yourself and, and learn how to uh, build an audience. So then from, from any of these, you might build a YouTube channel and start promoting yourself. So let's say you're a photographer. I would, if I were a photographer, I would get my pictures out there on as many platforms as I could. And then I would start a YouTube channel or a blog and start promoting content about making a great um, photos, how, how, what kind of camera that you might like to use or, um, you know, how, how, what, what you do to get such good shots. Maybe you have some secrets, but keep putting videos out talking about that because people are interested. And then you tell them, and by the way, if you want any of my photos, go to one of the links below. And that's how you promote yourself and get out there. It takes time. It takes effort, but the more people see, I think what it does when you start, um, content, a video, a YouTube channel or a blog, it lets people see that this person's really serious about their business. They're not just throwing um, their name out there on Facebook and saying, hey, I just, you know, you want to buy some of my photos? People are like, well, where's your storefront? Where's your blog? Where's your, you know, they, they, you don't have any credibility. So you have to build that up. And that's what I'm saying. It takes time, but it's so worth it. And especially if you love photography, you're going to love your job. You're going to love doing what you're doing and your brain will just start thinking of other ideas of other, um, YouTube content to make or blogs, um, within your, your, um, area of knowledge. Now B roll photos. I'm going to give you an example here. These are when people make just short, um, videos and in the video, these are, these are called B roll. They might last eight seconds. So let's say, I w let's say that first video that you were looking at, let's say I was, um, I want to talk about traffic. Like, are you getting any traffic? Does your traffic look like this? Um, you might, um, talk about, here, um, is this what your business looks like right now? You know, you can get B-roll about different things. These are some um, landscaping things, but it gives you an example. Somebody out there took these videos and um, a lot of these are from another country that I found here, but I could go to one of those platforms and buy that eight second video and then use it on my website, okay? So a lot of these, so that, that's basically what, what a B roll is. They sell as high as $79. I've seen them and it just, you might want to get a, a clip of somebody in their office spinning in their chair, trying to think with their pencil, in their, you know, whatever. Yeah. You can get your spouse or your, your friend to do that and you can videotape them. But a lot of times it's just easier just to get one that somebody's already made and they're very, very popular and it's very lucrative. So that's another way that you can make money as a videographer. So again, you're doing something you love to do and you're making money from it. So that's just a couple ideas in the creativity area. And these are areas that make more money than maybe if you were out there designing graphic logos for someone, which I've talked about before. Okay. Now the second way is I call it uh, make it affiliate marketing. This is my, actually my favorite way of making money. And with affiliate marketing, you are going out and s promoting software from other companies, or you're selling other people's products, you're promoting them. And then within your, let's say you have a website within your website, you're going to create blogs about those things. Now, here's an example. This is, this website is called shape. And of course it's for health and fitness. Health and fitness is a very competitive area to get into, but it's lucrative if you can get um, known. Now this person, I happened, I went ahead and used this as an example. With their website and with their niche of, of, of healthcare, they also are putting different ads on their blog. I personally do not put ads all over my blog. I promote my coaching business and my affiliate marketing ebook to help other people get started in affiliate marketing so that they can generate an income using other people's products. So I don't put ads all over my 
blog, but you can if you want to. I don't because it bothers me. It's annoying to me when I'm trying to read a blog and all the stuff is popping up my face. Now, one thing popping up, fine, but see, this is going crazy. But I went ahead and stayed here because I wanted to show you some of the topics. What is a healthcare coach and should you hire one? So in that blog, that person might be talking about hiring a coach and they might say, hey, if you're looking for a healthcare coach, this is what I can do for you. This is uh, my coaching service, hit this link. And then you will hit their link and you go right to their coaching. Um, is fiber the secret to ingredient um, to weight loss? Maybe this person will talk a lot about fiber and then they might have a lot of links connecting to Amazon about different fiber products that are high. Maybe there's um, a, a drink, a, a that, that you can drink that has extra fiber in it or a shake or something. And that person is telling you about it and then saying, Hey, if you want these products, here are the links. So that's making money by creating a website and blogs and offering all this information and always, always, whatever you're talking about, give them something that they can click and go buy that product. It happens the same way in YouTube. People nine times out of 10, when they're telling you go down now, the links that I'm giving you today, I'm not making, they're not affiliate links. They're all different links for different photography uh, places uh, for your stock photos. But maybe I could tell you about um, a healthcare product and then say, Hey, go down there. If you're interested in it, it's down there. There's, there's a link. Okay. So that's how affiliate marketing works. And you can make a lot of money doing that. Um, if you go to a, a, a YouTube channel called think media, they always talk about different, uh, video products, cameras and lighting and, and all the different products. And he always has the links at the bottom and people hit those links. I've had friends tell me, well, you got to get this. When I was looking for a product, they go, oh, you got to get this one. And it was with that think media. And I'm like, no, I've already researched it. And I, I want this brand instead. But my friend was so caught up in think media, anything this guy said, you know, she was like, I'm buying it. So, you know, people will become your, your fans. Um, when, when they like, like you and they keep following you, they'll buy from you though, because they trust you. Um, Another uh, site you could do is a cooking channel and maybe you like keto cooking or something like that. And again, you could start talking about different cookware that you use or different um, appliances and things like that. And then set up an affiliate marketing business based on that niche. I really want to stress staying, saying stay within that niche because if I'm doing a cooking channel and I'm talking about cooking with keto, I don't want to start talking about, um, how to train my dog. It doesn't go together. So that's what a niche is. You want to really talk about a certain area. Now within keto cooking, you can talk about, you know, maybe you need to exercise and, and maybe once in a while go off on a tangent and saying, you know, eating healthy is 80% of it, but 20% is exercise. And here I've got a, a site that I found for free and you might want to check it out or here's something that I use. So that's, that's um, making money with affiliate marketing, my favorite way. Now, the third way is you can start creating digital products. Why would you want to start creating digital products? I believe that digital products are the most lucrative way that you can make money. Now, you can't just go out and make a course on something. I'm always telling my husband, he's in construction. And I said, oh my gosh, you should make a YouTube channel doing do it yourself stuff. He can figure out anything. He built our house. He had never put wood floors down. And the way he found out was by checking out YouTube. And, but that, that's where we learn things on YouTube. But anyway, um, later I wanted him to put it together as a course, you know, after you've did all this do it yourself stuff, then make a course out of it and sell it as a course. And that's what people do. They create content on a channel or on a blog. Those are the two main area places that people do it. And then after you've been doing that for a while, you've got so much knowledge and so much information, you can put that together and make a course out of it. And, and all of a sudden you've got 10 modules and you're like, I've got this digital course where everything's put together. I have seen people take all their free information that they have put out for a couple of years, put it together as a thousand dollar course. And you're thinking, well, why would people do that? Because people would rather have it all together in a package in a course that they can look at it at their leisure than to have to keep Googling it and looking for it, you know, all over YouTube or wherever it's at. It works and people sell it. Obviously you, you have to put the work in and then you have to, you know, understand about, um, doing, 
you have to understand Google algorithms and how people can find you and search engine optimization and things like that. But you're not even ready for that. <laughs> right now, you need to be putting the content out and getting ready for the course. But I'm just telling you that it's lucrative. The neat thing is you might say, yeah, but I might make this course. And you said it would be good for you know years to come. What you do then is go in and keep updating it. And that's where the magic happens with the digital course. I could sell a course in 2020 about how to start a YouTube channel and things are going to change. So what I want to do is go in there and keep changing those things and keep it updated. So when people buy my course, they have those updates forever. They don't have to go back to the store and buy a book and buy revision two. They already have it digitally and it's in there and it's always going to be for the rest of their life. They get the up-to-date version and that's why it's so lucrative so there you have it three different ways that you can make money higher cash than just going out and making a logo and they work and you can do it but you have to have that mindset that drive and put in the blood sweat and tears and you're probably saying well what do you mean tears anytime you work hard um, there are going to be those times that you want to cry because things aren't going as fast as you want or or maybe you're having trouble understanding um, something that you're tech with technology but a lot of times what i do when i when i feel that way i just walk away because usually you're going to get the tears because you've been sitting there so diligently working so hard sometimes you forget oh, i gotta get up and go live my life and, and you just walk away and i've done that sometimes for a couple days i just walk away go do something else and i come back and i'm all refreshed so that's my extra tip for you if this is what you plan on doing is just you know have the grace for yourself that it's going to take as long as it takes for you to get to where you want to go we're all on a different journey we all have different starting points and that's just the way the world works so you got to do the best you can with what you've got okay and i hope that was helpful today don't forget to get my free ebook if you're really looking at affiliate marketing i wrote a 43 page ebook writing is not my favorite thing to do but i really wanted to put it in a different format for people so they can just download it for free and print it off if you want and cross it off as you go and take those steps to help you start building your affiliate marketing business um, i hope you enjoyed this video i hope it gave you some ideas some hope and i'll see you on the next video